Today, we're discussing how to get affordable flood insurance in Birmingham, Alabama. So if you're a homeowner, if you're a real estate investor or a property owner in Birmingham, Alabama that is seeking flood insurance, then this video is for you. Hello, my name's Chris Green, president and owner of the Flood Insurance Guru. And 12 years ago, I bought a house in a flood zone, had a terrible experience with it. And I've been helping property owners for the last 12 years solve this problem of flood insurance. Today, we're just discussing how to get affordable flood insurance in Birmingham, Alabama. We're talking about flood zones. We're talking about flood insurance options. We're talking about elevation certificates. And then we're talking about how do flood insurance claims impact flood insurance rates. So let's talk about flood zones. There's really three types of flood zones in Birmingham, Alabama. You've got flood zone X, flood zone A, and flood zone AE. Flood zone X is gonna be your non-required or minimum risk area. Now it's important to understand that still 30% of flooding occurs in this area. Even though your bank may not be requiring flood insurance in these areas, doesn't mean you need it. You need to take a look at a flood risk assessment. You can click in the description in this video to find the flood risk assessment for your property. Now let's talk about flood zone A. Flood zone A is in that 100 year flood plain. This means if you have a mortgage, flood insurance is gonna be required. Now the big thing with flood zone A is a lot of times that a flood insurance study report hasn't been done or a base flood elevation hasn't been determined. This means that it can be very difficult to do a flood zone change in this area or even using an elevation certificate to help with rates. Now let's talk about flood zone AE. This is the highest risk area outside the coast when it comes to flood zones. It's still in that 100 year area. Flood insurance is still gonna be required if you have a mortgage. And the good news is generally a base flood elevation has been determined here. So you can see how negative your property is or how positive or you potentially may be able to do a flood zone change. Now let's talk about flood insurance options. What we're talking about here is the National Flood Insurance Program we're talking about private flood insurance. Now the National Flood Insurance Program offers coverages up to $250,000 on a residential building, up to $100,000 on contents. Private flood insurance will offer more than $250,000 on a building. They'll offer more than $100,000 on contents. And unlike the National Flood Insurance Program, they will offer replacement costs on contents. I mean, wouldn't it be nice to actually be able to replace your contents with the money you're getting from a flood insurance claim? Well, that's exactly what you're gonna be able to do with private flood insurance. Then there's additional living expenses. Now this can be very important. We actually had a client in Nebraska that was able to get six months to a year Years worth of living expenses from their flood insurance policy when their neighbors couldn't because their neighbors had a national flood insurance program policy. They had a private flood insurance policy. So these are the coverage differences between the national flood insurance program and private flood insurance. Both of these options are available throughout the Birmingham area. Now it's important to understand that pricing could be 50% less with private flood insurance. You could be getting more coverage. In some situations we do see where the national flood insurance program is less. Now let's talk about elevation certificates. Do you have to have elevation certificates to get flood insurance in Birmingham, Alabama? The answer to that question is no. They're no longer required, but they can still help with the National Flood Insurance Program and private flood insurance. Could also help if you're looking at doing a flood zone change, seeing how positive your building is on elevation. They also go a long way of help you understand the flood risk of that property. Hey, what are the chances of water coming into this property? What about flood insurance claims? How do they impact flood insurance rates? Flood insurance claims can have a big impact on flood insurance rates, especially on private market side. There's a lot of private flood insurance companies that will not take properties that have ever flooded. There's some where you couldn't have a claim within the last five years. Then you could be non-renewed by a private flood insurance company after a claim. Now, these are all things on the private side. With the National Flood Insurance Program, after you've had two claims at post 2021, they start using what's called claims variable. They do a 10 year look back and they look at these claims and they use this as the determining rate factor in the future, how it could impact your rates. So you wanna be cautious if in small filing small claims less than say $5,000 or even $1,000 because they could come back and really hurt you because flood insurance insurance claims stay on the life of the property forever. So that's what we wanted to talk about in getting affordable flood insurance in Birmingham, Alabama today. So if you're ready to take the next steps to getting affordable flood insurance in Birmingham, Alabama, three simple steps. Step one, fill out the form on our website or click in the description of this video. Step two, connect with one of our flood risk advisors. And step three, pick the flood insurance policy that best fits your needs. Thank you.